Out of control violence in Baltimore. Police have been busy over the last 72 hours. It all started Friday when several people were shot in West Baltimore and then continued through the weekend. WJZ is live right now. Ava Joy Burnett tells us several teenagers were victims in one mass shooting. Ava Joy. Denise, we spoke with the police commissioner earlier today and he told us that there is a break in that case where seven people were shot. They found a vehicle that's connected to that shooting, but still no arrests. And that's the case in several other cases over the weekend. This is what's left of a burned out car where a woman was shot to death Sunday morning near North Franklin Town Road and Winans Way. This is now a homicide investigation. The violent weekend put a dim mood on homecoming celebrations at Morgan State University. An 18 year old was shot there Saturday. He's expected to survive, but police are still looking into what happened there. And before those shootings, seven people were shot in North Avenue Friday night. Two 15 year old girls, a 17 year old, and two 19 year olds were among the victims, but police still need leads. What we need now is for information about what people saw so that we can find who did these heinous acts and then bring them to justice. In the last few months, several teenagers have gotten caught up in the violence. Katrina Armwood is part of a neighborhood effort to prevent that from happening. If that mom reaches out to a mentor or to, like I said, the owner of a rescue organization because their child is not home at 11 o'clock, they're not going to get a voicemail. Right? You're not going to get, okay, I'll um, call you back tomorrow morning. No, that particular person is going to get up, go get that child. Baltimore City Police have been recruiting officers as it tries to tackle its crime problem. More than 30 new trainees are now out into the communities, and another 46 recruits, some of them from Baltimore, started in the academy today. When you have that lived experience of growing up here, that cultural un understanding of being here in Baltimore, it helps you do any job, especially a police officer, in a much better way. The training for those 46 new recruits will take about 30 weeks, and then once they're done with that, they will go out into the communities with an experienced officer for a few more weeks. Live at 5, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.